All right, it's a new day. It's a new episode of your daily scrum with professional scrum trainers Ryan Ripley and Todd Miller. I'm Ryan, that's Todd. We Hello. get together each and every, oh, every hi. day. Hi, every day. To help you get better with scrum each and every day. We wrote a book. It's like right there. Look at that. First try. All the time. It's, it's you're, right you're there. Running. I was gonna try to like Hello, Grogu, do one of those, but mine doesn't work. Yeah, well. Wrote a book, Fixing Your Scrum. We think you'll like it. Go buy a thousand copies, make our, our publisher happy. Uh, we teach a lot of scrum.org courses. All that's in the, in the description. Lots of good stuff in the description. Check it out. Today, we have a question that uh, came from a recent product owner course. Mm -hmm. Should the product owner own the budget in Scrum? Todd, I think I know how you're going to answer this. Yes, they should. All right, end screen. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, this is an interesting concept because uh, just because they are um, own the budget doesn't mean they have to manage it. You can delegate that out. And I've done that as a product owner before. But how are you making decisions about the value of something when cost isn't a factor? Can't. Yeah. Cost is a factor. It is. And how are you using Scrum to be opportunistic in the market if you're going back and getting permission from the budget holder each and every time you want to do something right it's really yeah. hard right yeah can i please have the money to build this feature this sprint yeah yeah do i have permission to invest two thousand dollars in an experiment to see if it's valuable and you got to wait two weeks for the decision yeah. i mean scrum is not a project management framework and we keep right. saying that and i don't think people hear it it's a it's a framework that we use to be opportunistic in the market we're trying to launch things, ship things, deliver things as soon as responsibly possible. And we can't do that if we have decision latency. And that's waiting for decisions to be made. And the budget is one of the biggest causes of decision latency that I ever saw throughout my career. How about you, Todd? Yeah, it really is. Uh, it's like uh, I have to get this approved before I can say this is the thing that I that we should do, right? And so seeking permission for things and while you're out there trying to seek permission and gain influence and play all the politics it gets to get the money for what you need, your development teams are sitting idle or questioning or just being busy doing stuff that's not valuable, right? And so that's why we take a, a pretty hard stance here and say that if a product owner doesn't own the budget, then money is being wasted, right? Um, they should be vicious about value. And as you know, Jeff Watts's book, Product Mastery says, ruthless about um, what the decisions that they're making and you have to factor cost into it, uh, right? And uh, if they're not allowed to be the ones that are factoring in that cost, then um, all the things that you were talking about happen, right? Yeah. So yeah, the product owner should own the budget and scrum. The product owner should be one fully empowered person to make all decisions about the product. Mm -hmm. And so budget or cost is just one aspect Mm -hmm. you know, Todd, how do you even appropriately order a product backlog or even forecast it without having uh, control and insight into budget? Yeah, I don't know. It's just too, it's too foundational. And so, yeah, product owner owns the product, which mm -hmm. includes budget. Mm -hmm. All it right. Does. End screen time. Here we go. Quick one. Three and a half minutes. Hey, that, that's going to make people happy, right? Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Uh, check out the socials. Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn are pretty active. Some videos are going to pop up. It's our Scrum Framework and our EBM, Evidence-Based Management, our free courses. Check those out. Uh, maybe go get your uh, assessment and pass that and get your certification. Go forward and conquer the world. Some merch is going to pop up. I love the Squirrel Burger hoodie. It's pretty awesome. Um, I think you'll like it too. Head over there and grab a hoodie for yourself. You deserve it. You deserve uh, it. For Todd, I'm Ryan. Go forward, do some great scrum things. Story points are trash. <laughs> See you tomorrow.